Saturday. What time is it? It's 8 17 here in Seaside, Florida. It's been an interesting couple of days, man. We're down here uh, with uh, some other couples and 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 just going like just going deep on on like relationship and and uh man it's pretty interesting you know because like I, when, when i was raised by my single mom uh relationship wasn't really uh a talk it, it wasn't something that we talked about and so as I grew up, you know, we just, we, we, if you're, if you're like me, if you, you're trying to just figure out a relationship, you're trying to just figure it out as you go. And, uh, and I think that the, the, the problem with that is like, we really don't have the right advice because everybody's situation is different, you know? And, uh, and, uh, shit's funny, man. I mean, it's, it's not funny, but it's just, it's just, it's, it's cool because uh because it can be it can be fixed it can be fixed it can be it can be improved uh you can you can uh do a lot like you can do a lot with whenever you understand how relationships work and how other people work and pretty it's pretty cool but uh one thing that that uh i can give you i'll give you i'll, I'll give you a bunch of things today like on this video like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll tell you how to deal with pain. I'll tell you how people deal with pain. There's three way people. There's three ways people deal with pain. And uh, I'll tell you like what we did like as far as with our relationship, me and my wife. The dead fish here. Look, check it out. See it. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, oh, we're down. We're down here in Florida. Yesterday, yesterday uh, the red tide, the red tide came in, but today like they said red tide just lasted like a day and it washed back out. But water's crystal clear. Nice over here, man. Uh, back to what I was saying. Like, so I'll give, I'm going to give you three things on 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 ways people deal with pain and how you can use pain. Uh, to do some to do some good things do some big things and then I'll, I'll share with you like on uh, One of the first steps we did with like really getting a, a solid foundation with our relationship with my wife is and uh, We'll start with that. So 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 we're, we're both very different as far as like drive and and that's understandable, you know, like like some women women are not gonna be you know, all driven crazy, 24/7 like some men, and uh, that has a lot to do with you know hormones, testosterone. Uh, you know, just uh, stuff like that. That the women, I mean, they're not really like that. They're not really wired like that. And so, one of the first things that we did was we took a we took a disc test, right? And uh, a lot of times, this test, like they're used. If you go like in, in some businesses, they, some businesses they'll require you to take a disc test, disc assessment test. And baby, and, and baby, and, ma and mainly what it does is it uh, it kind of uh, helps clarify your personality type. And whenever you understand the personality type of yourself and and your partner then uh, you kind of get an understanding of why they act a certain way or why certain things happen or why uh, things are the way they are. Like for example, I'll give you an example of myself. My, my, my uh, disc test indicated that I'm a high D, right? So I'm a very like dominant person as far as like driven. And so because I'm a very dominant person, I I'm never really satisfied. Like I'm never really satis satisfied with with anything, like, I mean, with 
with like goal wise right so like i can be like you know what we're gonna we're gonna do this many cells and then i hit that number and i'm like no you know what we, we, we're gonna hit this number now and once we hit this number it's gonna be better and then i i keep increasing increasing it right that's just the way that that i've been wired right and so you can go you can go deeper into that and say why why are you like that why why are you like why do you why do you do that right it can go back to pain like and it goes back to pain right so the disc test is going to be something you can do if you look if you google like disc test disc assessment test uh man do, do it like do the do the disc test uh i don't have a link for it uh but if you want more information just let me know and i'll, I'll get you the information for it uh this test is going to be and it's going to be very helpful because what it does what, it, what the disc tells you what the disc tells you assessment it tells you your personality types it tells you your personality type and it tells you uh how your adapted personality type right so like let's say mine mine for example is is a is a, is a dominant personality right so like at, at, during work work mode i'm ready to go like let's go i want to hear no bullshit. i want to hear no excuses it's saying a fucking daycare let's go let's get it get up let's get it right but when it's time like when, when i'm not in work mode uh i become like a very social person like i'm very friendly and, and that's just my adapted personality like and so if you understand the boat because some people will be like man I, I don't know why like you know just today like you were just going 100 miles an hour and now you're just like all chill laughing having a good time it's because like i i turn it off like i and it's hard for people to do that sometimes turn turn their their, their work mode off uh but i can tell you this like i'm always in work mode like but it's not at it's not at the peak so i'm always thinking i'm always like strategizing i'm like always trying to learn something so the disc test is going to be very powerful man if you can take the disc test especially if you're going to go into a relationship or especially if you're in a relationship and you're like man like i really want her to get on the same page i really want him to get on the same page like how can we figure this out uh this test is going to be very powerful to do that it's probably going to be one of the first steps to, to start doing that and i mean it, it fucking takes time man like this shit, this shit like raising kids and and uh you know trying to do the right thing and trying to uh motivate your people try to you know you know listen try to learn try to adapt try to make sure that you know you're holding down the the, the fort you know it's, it's a lot of work man like in and mentally i think mentally everybody's built for it like if you if you really want to do it like you're you're built for it a lot of times it's fear a lot of times it's fear of, of the un unknown like man, i don't want to do this because what if this happens or i don't want to do this because what if what if somebody makes fun of me or something you know something stupid but like it's funny because uh like i'll ask you a question right what's the matter a question like what what date what day and year and time did michael jackson die okay okay so you probably don't know you probably gotta google it you probably gotta like it's like michael jackson was one of the famous persons like one of the most known famous person you know in our in our lifetime right but fucking that's nobody really cares like like no one, no one really keeps track of like oh I, they know we know we he died but no one's like unless you're a dedicated hardcore fan you know you have the, you have all that but most people have their own problems most people have their own issues most people are trying to survive they don't have time to worry about what you're doing they don't have time to worry about your failures they don't have time to worry about you know if you're struggling like and a lot of times we we think people are gonna judge us or we think people are gonna talk shit about us because we might fail or because we don't do it right or because we look stupid like no one like no one cares i mean at the end of the day no one cares 
I mean, one thing that I always like to tell some, some of my people that, that are older is uh, I'll be like, do you, do you have any regrets? Like, think about that. Like, let's say, let's say, let's just use a, this is a, a just kind of do a little, do, do, do a little, uh, Do a little uh, test or something. We'll do a little study, right? So let's just say you're 100 years old, and uh, and you're you're on your deathbed, and and they asked you, do you have any regrets? Like, is there any regrets in your life that man, like you you wish you would have. You wish you would have done it, but you kind of were scared, so you kind of pulled away. Or is there any regrets? So just think about that. Like at this moment, do you have any regrets? Like uh, not opening the business, not uh, not moving, not you know doing something that doing something massive. Do you have any regrets that that you might that might haunt you and? Uh, Fucking just do it, man. Just do it. Fell forward. You know, if you're gonna fail, you're gonna fell forward. You know, if you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail forward. And what that means is like when you fail at something, you're gonna learn from that failure and you're gonna grow from that failure. Okay? You're gonna grow from that. So fell forward. You know. So that's one thing with the, you know, the relationship thing. Uh, this is the, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more we can share, but I, I want to I keep it short. And I'm going to give you, like, the thing, like I said, uh, three ways people deal with pain. And, uh, and how people use pain to get ahead. You know, so, so let's say uh, some... You had some trauma growing up or you know you had some pain growing up right whether you know parents divorced or, you know dad passed my dad passed away when i was three committed suicide that was pain that was painful you know raised by a single mom uh you know never had like a father figure that's pain right so how, how did i how did i use that pain so, there's three ways people deal with pain. One way is uh, substance abuse. They either drink, smoke, do drugs, to kind of just they just want to they just want to they just want to eliminate the pain for a little bit, right? Mental pain, it's mental pain. They want to eliminate the mental. So the substance abuse, right? Stimulus. They, they, they substance abuse. Uh, second is, you know, they'll they'll meditate and they'll they'll kind of clear their mind and uh, reset and uh, think positive and they, you know, they kind of you know meditate on it. And they they kind of try to mentally get clear and I mean we've seen that like we've seen some people that like they're just they're meditators man they meditate. And, and, you know they have the all the meditation and the stuff and, and and they're able to cope like that they're able to they're able to uh self-heal and it's cool it's good for it's good for the body right because see the pain will create stress anxiety uh depression and whenever you, th those things are 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 mentally going through our body uh, it's actually, it's actually releasing uh, toxic chemicals, and those toxic chemicals get into your gut. Uh, they 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 mess up your your digestive system, and that's where you get sick. That's where you know, you know, you get sick uh, because you're 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 constantly uh, distributing these 
chemicals because the pain you're not dealing with the pain so so substance abuse for meditation you know mind thing to kind of reset the mind uh, but the third one is powerful third one is they use the pain you know for a cause they they use the pain they go to work they go to work so instead of like allowing the pain to get them depressed to get them to to let anxiety kick in to to allow substance abuse they go to work at something they go to they go to work to build something they go they go to work to build the, that guy that guy build a multi-million dollar business i'm gonna build that i'm gonna use all my energy to build that and i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna get addicted to building that i'm gonna get a, i'm gonna get addicted to to building building and that that's powerful that's that's where you want to be at if you can you want to entrepreneurs are builders business owners people that that are focused on target I'm going for this don't fucking stop me get in my way you're gonna get run over they're just they're just driven you you've all seen some people like man this fucking dude is fucking on a different level you know get any pain that you have combine it say i'm gonna use this pain to go after that i'm gonna use this pain i'm gonna turn this negative into a positive because this pain is now gonna fuel the fire it's gonna fuel the fire to help all these people because you're gonna build businesses you're gonna employ people you're gonna you know make massive donations you're gonna you're gonna become a mover you're gonna become a mover and moving moving things around so if you're stuck on some pain from the past you know fucking use that pain get your ass up no excuses man no excuses you gotta turn pro gotta go pro man like going pro is simply just what are we at going pro I think we're this way going pro is simply just saying hey you know what I gotta get up I'm here to perform you use the world as your arena like think about that you the world is your arena okay when you get up you get up to perform when you get up in the morning say okay you know what I'm here to perform let's get it when you get up I'm here to perform let's get it I think we're I'm trying to figure out where our house is at I think we're that way. Oh yeah, we are that way. It's the road that goes this way. So I'll just, just walk miles on the beach right now. And we're over here on this side. Massive houses. Just... Yesterday, I had, yesterday I had made a video. This is gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna do all the videos. Yesterday I had uh, made a video about like why why we're down here and so uh so it's something that i that i that i i learned a couple years back and this is just this is just the way i am wired right but i mean i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure a lot of people are wired like this they just haven't realized it are they are they just they're just they're just uh they're just trapped in a way like not trapped like they're trapped in the in, in, in a in their cycle in their routine 
you can get trapped in your routine. And so, uh, it's environment, man. Like a couple years back, uh, this is really getting deep on studying like how environments change wiring and and you expose yourself to, to new environments you're forced to to get out of your comfort zone for one you're forced to listen you're forced to learn and and, and by doing that it uh it creates like new pathways mental pathways of seeing things like fucking look at this house like what you saying like this is like this is a fucking huge house you know what I mean you know where I, where I was from like the, the we, I would pass by the, the projects that I'd buy that you know and this is like this is normal here this is like these are like these are just average homes here and so putting yourself in, in bigger environments that are, that are just moving I guarantee you Probably 98, 98 of the people, maybe 99% of the people here are moving. Like they're, they're using the pain to move something. They're using the pain to invent something. They're using the pain to build a business. They're using the pain to change lives. And because they're so focused on, on, on doing that, you know, the, the, the world they're rewarded they showed up in the arena and they performed they showed up in the arena and they performed so maybe it's time for you to show up and perform get into different environments learn ask questions you know i'll ask people you know hey how, how'd you buy this house how do i how do i get a house next to you what did you do this is what I'm doing. What should I do different? Tell me straight up. Like, tell me what I'm doing. Just like, just like if you're, I mean, we do it all the time. Like, it's dumb. Like, like we, if we have kids, you know, we go to the game or we go to the practice and we're telling them, you got to do this, son. You got to do that, son. And you got to do this, son. And you got to, but, but like as adults, like we don't, we don't want to hear that. And that's dumb. Like I, I'm always asking how how's my performance? How's my performance? What what uh what shifts do I need to make? How can I improve? Tell me how it looks from this angle because I'm looking at I'm looking at I'm looking down this lens, but you have a different lens, so tell me what your lens sees that I don't see. And and, and, I'll, and I'll and I'll move that. Just last night I was having a conversation, you know. And just really expanded my pathways of thinking, you know, just bigger moves. You know, we're doing these kind of deals, this kind of money. We're moving this, we're moving this properties. We're, we're going into this space. And so, and I'm, and I'm just listening. I'm like, learning. okay, yeah. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? And so it's, it's creating new pathways because because I had the fuel, right? We had the pain. Everybody has the pain. We had the fuel. But we don't have a cause. Like we don't have a mission. We don't have a we don't have a fucking we don't have a blade. We don't have a blueprint. So we're trying to build some shit that that that's that doesn't have a solid foundation. And so we fail and then we say, oh man, like I don't have it in me. But the truth is, you know, we're we're I mean, you're gonna fail forward, like, so if you, if you failed and you stopped, get up and do it again. Like, just get up and do it again. Just get up and do it again. Because, you know, after one of those failures, it's gonna come a lot of learning, and then the next move is gonna be bigger. And they're gonna be like, dang, like, you, they're, they're gonna, you're gonna make it seem like, like you, you knew what you were doing all along, but, but they're not gonna ask how many times you failed. And you're gonna know, but you're gonna know anyway. You already knew. 
but you know it's just keep building man keep building use that pain for the for the for the good i mean shit use that pain for the good once again man thanks for subscribing or make sure you subscribe to this channel see so I'm, I'm gonna have another video tomorrow i think we're heading back tomorrow tomorrow sunday yeah but uh leave some leave some uh leave some comments about pain if uh if you have some pain you know like hey i have i, I have this pain but i'm not sure what to do with it yet I'm not sure and i'm getting i'm getting you know i'm getting uh distracted because because i have friends that that uh that use they have pain but but they they want to be out in the club they want to be out drinking and and hey you know what i'm guilty of it because i had pain my 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 drink you know club have a good time substance abuse you know cover the pain go back cover the pain it's a cycle so i said you know what like i'm gonna i'm gonna use the pain to build something and, and focus on that and avoid some distractions life will give you distractions that's a whole another video distractions man they'll kill you but hey like i said leave some uh that's a lie look at this freaking house building a brand new house over here this is massive stuff here. I'm far off. Look at this house. Massive house. Let me know in the comments how you're gonna how, how you're gonna use your pain. What, what do you what do you want to build? Let's start. Let's start. Let's start putting something on paper. Let's start putting something. Let's start. Let's start uh, sharing those thoughts. You know, put it on. Say, you know what, man? I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my pain to go this way. I'm gonna start using my pain to do this. I'm gonna start using my pain to, to build to build this uh, fucking nice house. Uh -oh. Huge. So, next time, guys, massive action.